welcome back to part three of this big ass winter marathon of laptops. Here we're looking at a 1996 IBM ThinkPad model 760EL. When I bought this thing on eBay, it was pretty much just a shell. I replaced all the parts pretty much and built it from the ground up. I had to replace this keyboard panel here, which is actually attached to the speakers and mouse. I had to buy a new hard drive and install it into the IBM chassis, which was quite a bitch. I also bought an extra CD drive, thinking that the one came with it was broken. But it was actually still working. I also bought an extra set of RAM, upgrading it to 80 megabytes, but I still need to get the plastic cover for it. So in the front here, we have a CD drive and two stereo speakers. There's a Pentium 1 sticker still attached to it. You got your signature ThinkPad trackpoint mouse here. On this laptop, the mouse does this. Pretty weird. I don't know what it's for, but yep. Here are your various indicators and the hardware volume control. You can see that part of the plastic casing is missing from when I took it apart. I don't know what happened to it. Here's a brightness control implanted into the screen itself. On the left side here we have a power switch, audio jacks, some kind of weird funky and another panel thing of some sort. The right side has your PCMCIA ports and a mouse port. On the back is the usual serial port, VGA port, that weird long ass port, which is actually for a docking station I figured out. And your power jack. One pretty unique feature about these ThinkPads is that you could do this. You lift this, and you've got access to the hard drive and CD drive and the battery, which are all removable. That made this computer a lot easier to work on, too, so that was nice. Okay, let's uh, power this shit up. Mm, there's the uh, computer powering on. ThinkPad, of course. You can see there's a line in the screen. I've been meaning to replace the screen, but I never got around to it. I think this is running on... Oh yeah, Windows Millennium Edition. There it is. So yeah, it's amazing to think this was just a shell when I first got it. Now it's running actually very nicely. <laughs> Put in my password here. These speakers are actually very loud. These speakers, I mean, they look small, but they put out a lot of freaking sound. Very nice screen, too. Before you get to that line in the middle. Oh yeah. I actually installed a Wi-Fi card in this thing. But as you can see, I don't have it plugged in right now. So if we look around here, you'll notice I have Firefox. And if I right-click on my computer, go to Properties, you'll see that I have 80 megabytes of RAM. Pentium 1 processor. And yep. I don't know if I have any games on. I could demonstrate. Nope. If I could open up Firefox just to show you how fast it runs. Get an idea of what Firefox is like on here. Mm, it's taking a little while. 
I assure it works. You know, in my last video, we had a few technical difficulties with the computer reading the hard drive, but this one isn't like that. So I loaded up rather nicely. This is actually... I don't know what version of Firefox this is. Let me check it out. Version 2.0 from 2008. That's actually pretty good, considering this is a 1996 laptop. It's running on a web browser from 2008, so... It's actually not that bad, really. Let's see if I have anything else. Of course, here's your My Computer DVD drive. The, uh, it pops out like that. This CD drive, I thought it was broken because it wouldn't read burned CDs. Um, so yeah, just to give you an idea, the technology they had back then, this CD drive doesn't actually read burned CDs. It'll only read printed CD. Um, I thought at first the CD drive was busted, so I actually ordered another one. Um, I still have it too, but nope, it works. It just won't read burn CDs. Yep. So yeah, this is pretty much the computer. Got an Atari 2600 emulator on here. So oh, yeah, that is my ThinkPad. Seven sixty EL. It says XD, but it's really a seven sixty EL because this keyboard actually came from a seven sixty XD. Like I said, I rebuilt this thing from scratch. So yeah, it's pretty weird. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I will bring over another video in the coming days. Have a nice holiday, and I'll see you tomorrow.